Hi everybody, it's Tara. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope all your hunts were filled with wonderful pops. And I am here to show you a couple of the pops that I got over the weekend at the trade. Well, it was called a swap show at the uh, Radar Toys in Eugene, Oregon. We had quite a, quite a nice time. A lot of pops were switching places. Um, it was just a lot of fun. Anyways, I acquired four chases. And I, it's most I've had ever um, in one, one go round outside the house. And so I was really excited and I wanted to come here and show them to you. Um, over this week, I'll, show, I'll be showing you pops that come in. And I've got kind of a silly little video in mind. I just have to figure out how to get it all here and get it edited. That's not my forte, but I'm doing my best. So, you know, there's that. So I have my first two that I got. These are both from the same person. And he came, oh, the, these two sets were both from the same person. He came over to the table and wanted to trade. And he basically didn't care what he got as long as he didn't have to keep these, these pops. So um, he asked if I was willing to trade, and I said, sure, what do you want? And he said, I don't know, I want to trade these. And he actually had all four of them at that time. I said, okay. And he took two pops that I didn't think were enough for the trade, so I told him to take one more, and he just picked something. I don't even remember what he picked, but it wasn't none of the really special ones like I would have thought he would have been interested in. But anyway, um, the pops I got were Philip and Terrence. I'm really excited because I wanted to get my South Park collection more in order. And there's a couple of them that have been released that I haven't been able to get. and. I didn't want to, I don't know, the, the normal, the common chases of these just didn't excite me too much, but these were much more appealing. So I, I accepted those. Then he came back. Apparently nobody wanted these chases, or maybe I had things he wanted. I'm not really sure. But um, so the same thing, can I trade these? He, I said, sure. He handed them to me and picked two more fairly ordinary pops and went about his business. So, and he was a very nice person. Um, never, don't remember I've ever seen him before, but then I've not been in the pop community very long. And, um, you know, I, I don't really get out to see people that much. So, I got Ren and Stimpy. I have always wanted to get um, Ren and Stimpy just because my kids used to think they were funny and they'd run around saying stuff from Ren and Stimpy. And it is also a very small collection. It's only two pops. And that makes it very easy to collect. And when the two pops are chases, that just makes it golden to me. So, Ren and Stimpy, Terrence and Terrence and... Uh, Philip. Almost sounds rather royal. And so the, those are two that I got um, for, for from this weekend. Um, a few things I just wanted to talk about. First of all, if you're here um, for the first time or you've come and looked before, please remember we do give away, um, I give away two pops a month, usually pops. Uh, one is something I will show at the first of the month, and then I gather entries all month long. And another is a surprise pop, and I already did that drawing. The person was not available or was not subscribed to the channel, so I have to pick another person. Uh, but it, that one's closed. All the people that are in it will be the ones who... Um, are in the drawing. 
So if you want to get in on this month's drawing, there's still, oh gosh, a week left, approximately a little less. And hand me the, the pop. The, the winner will receive this little baby right here. This is the, <laughs> the Target exclusive Flocked Bugs Bunny. This was a very hard pop to get a hold of. I actually had to go to uh, the secondary market to get one because I couldn't get one uh, when they went up. It's getting very difficult uh, to pull pops off, off of the regular places. I really wanted this, so I went ahead and got one. I figure since I'm paying that much money to get one, I might as well get two, and that way I can give one away on my channel. So that is what this one is for. It is for one of you. So I have several people already entered. You can enter once. And to be entered, you have to, um, you have to subscribe to the channel. And I suggest that you hit notifications, turn on notifications so that when I have the drawing or I make another video, you will be um, notified so that you can go and look and see if it's the um, if it's the drawing or if it's just another video or whatever it is. Um, uh, another announcement of a drawing, whatever you, whatever you uh, look to see, you know, it's always good to know what's going on. Uh, number three is if possible give this or any other video you like a thumbs up that helps me so much i'm trying to build build this channel i have goals i have dreams <laughs> and i have been pretty good in my life of getting dreams fulfilled and this is one of them that i believe i can do and it is to make this channel just kind of a really good channel, a channel people want to be involved in. So if you're interested, please do give a thumbs up, do subscribe, do uh, take notifications. And the final thing is leave me a comment below in the comments knowing, uh, so I know that you want to uh, enter the drawing. Just say, hi Tara, or hi Funkaholic, how are you doing? May I enter the drawing? Or I'd like to enter the drawing. And that will be, of course, for the flocked bug bu bugs bunny. Uh, some some other things else. There is a lot going on in the pop community, and it's not all fun and games. There's um, I don't know how to say this. There's there are those always in any community of of um, our sort people who collect things. There is always the voice of, um, I want to say desertion, but that's not the exact word. There's always people who want to, I, I just can't say this. It's don't always believe everything you hear and half of what you see. <laughs> that's just, I'll, I'll tell you that much. If someone has said something about um, what's happening with Funko, whether it be a lawsuit, whether it be they've got too many, um, you know, they've got too many contracts to do uh, pops of all these different characters. If you stop and think about that a minute, why would that be a problem? It wouldn't be. It simply means you get more characters that you like. That's all it means. It's not a market saturation. A saturation would be if they took one, one group of pops, say any group you want, any movie, any people, and if they just only put that out and there was thousands of, thousands, thousands of them out there which made them worth nothing. Okay, that's not what's happening. The market is being filled up with lovely pops of lovely um, different movies, different people, different things. 
this is not a bad thing. This is a good thing. I have collected in my time many, many different things. I have had doll collections. I have had Beanie Baby collections. I have had collections of baseball cards. I still collect non-sports cards. Um, I have teapots and, and um, salt and pepper shakers. I am a collector of many things and I'm here to tell you that you have to listen to your own heart. If for some reason Funko wasn't here anymore, they've already left us with many, many things that will be there to collect. It will probably cost more money uh, at first and then who knows. Commons will still be commons. Chases will still be chases. Exclusives will still be exclusive. There just wouldn't be any new ones and that would be a shame. So just listen to your brain. Run it through your brain. If you've <laughs> If you have any sense at all, run it through your brain and does it does it pass the smell test? You know, are you being to told something because somebody has, I don't know, not an agenda. I'm not going to say an agenda, but I don't know, maybe a way to get um, a way to get more hits, a way to make things I I honestly don't know I don't know end game here I only know what I'm seeing what I'm hearing and I don't I don't like it and I, you know it, it is what it is Funko Pops are what they are if you don't like it if you don't like the can, you can get so many that you can get so many um, great different characters please don't block in my light um, then, you know, don't like it. Collect something else. If you don't like Funko Pops, if you don't trust P Funko Pops, if you think they're the beanie baby of, the, of, <laughs> of this decade, then fine. You know, there's a lot else out there to collect. Um, Funko Pops right now are my main collection because they are very exciting to me. The chase is fun, and no matter what Funko does, really isn't, is it really that big of a deal what they do? I don't care what they do. I would rather they stay around and make as many, as many groups of Funkos as they can. They're starting to get more, um, they're starting to get more into literary things like like they've done they're they're doing directors famous movie directors they they did a james gunn and nobody could understand that i understood it perfectly james gunn is a genius in his field uh they also did the man who directed um one of the the um star wars movies i actually saw the pop yesterday and i thought about buying it and i didn't and now i wish i would have because he's probably going to be a little harder to get. But I'll find him somewhere. That's another thing. I don't worry about it. I'll find one. I may have to. I'll find any pop I want, I can find. I just have to worry about what I pay for it. And I really don't worry about that either. You know, it's, it is what I is. It is what I is. It, if, you know, if you want it, you pay for it. If you can't afford it, you don't pay for it. But you don't worry about it. It's going to be there. I promise. Funko is never going to make nothing. They, I know there's a lot of talk about a lawsuit, which I did Google after hearing about it. And um, it is probably serious. It um, will probably be settled. And, you know, it, it, I don't think will be the end of Funko Pops because that would be counterintuitive to um, everybody that's involved. If you're 
suing a company because they didn't give as much money or give or have as much money or tell you how much money they really made, wouldn't you let them go and make that money so they can, you know, pay whatever fine or do whatever, but you can't really close somebody up or want them to close up because, because of something like that. It, it's serious, yes. Am I worried about it? No. I'm just not. Funko Pops sell tons, tons and tons. So I didn't want to get in this deep to this subject, but I did, and that is my feeling. And uh, just like everybody else, I have an opinion, and I want you to be informed. So Google Funko Pops or Google Funko and lawsuit and see what you see. And then if you want to have a conversation, we can have that conversation. I have no problem with that. We can even do it as a live uh, conversation where we all get together and talk. But it's a whole community's problem. It's just not one person's problem or one person's job to, um, to let you know what's going on and, and what they think. Um, and of course, here I am letting you know what's going on and what I think. But the difference is I open it to the floor. And I'm not talking about any one person, so don't sit there and think I am. Uh, nobody here knows what I'm, who I'm talking to or about because they don't know who I know or who I talk to. So there you go. Anyways, um, peace be with you. Everything will be fine. I'm so excited. I have many other pops to show you. And if I can ever get my editing skills down, I no longer have my son who does up, who did so much for me. And I love you so much, Brandon. But you're so busy doing something frivolous like going to nursing school. Please help your mother. Anyways, I love you guys and I will talk to you very soon.